One of the questions we get frequently here in the office is what is glaucoma and how do I get it and what do I do to prevent it? One of the things that we're going to talk about today is I'm going to use my eye model here because it really helps to understand what's going on. In this area behind the cornea in the front part of the eye there's a fluid called aqueous. As that fluid if the pressure gets a little bit too high it pushes backwards and as it pushes backwards it compresses this area. This entire area is filled with a gelatinous subject substance excuse me called vitreous. Kind of has the consistency of like clear cooking gelatin. As the pressure builds it pushes backwards. Back here in the back of the eye is the photoreceptors. Those photoreceptors are what collect light information and they take it through the optic nerve into the brain. That's how we see. If the pressure gets big enough, it slowly destroys those photoreceptors. The way those photoreceptors die is they die peripherally first. That's why the average patient doesn't know if they have glaucoma. What happens is, is as we start to lose the peripheral vision, and I'm going to put my eye on the there. As we start to lose the peripheral vision, what happens is you wouldn't notice if you were missing 5 or 10 degrees peripherally. That's why we have to run tests called visual fields. If anyone's ever had a glaucoma test, they have to hit a little button and they see a, a little sensor that goes off in the peripheral. We're trying to check for the sensitivity of the peripheral retina. One of the things we can do even earlier than that with today's technology is ocular coherence tomography. What that does is it actually measures the thickness of that retina and it compares you to what's called a normative database. When we're looking at that information, we can tell if we do a series of those tests if there's any changes. Sometimes if you're genetically born with a thinner retina, you may get some abnormal results. That's why we check it multiple times. We know if it's changing, it's a disease process. If it's abnormal once and stays the same, that's probably just the way that God made you. So what are some of the symptoms? If you have advanced as an end-stage glaucoma, you're going to lose a lot of your peripheral vision. And if you're to that point, unfortunately, you've probably killed up to two-thirds to three-quarters of your nerve fiber layer. We're really playing catch-up. The problem with glaucoma, and it's why they call it the thief in the night, is that generally speaking, you don't see those symptoms until it's too late. You wouldn't notice if you were missing five to 10 degrees of your peripheral retina. Can glaucoma be prevented? Generally not. What it generally is, is a lot of it is hereditary genetic and be caused by injury and other things, but we can slow it down. You don't cure glaucoma if you have it, but you take medication that lowers the pressure in the front of the eye, which in turn takes pressure off the photoreceptors in the back of the eye. Once you do that, you get a slowing of the loss and a slowing of the depth of the photoreceptors. What we hope for with our patients is we find a goal target pressure and we take medication, if we keep it under that and we continue to monitor those tests, we know that we're not losing any tissue. Uh, we've already covered how glaucoma can affect your vision end stage, but if we treat it properly and do our jobs and catch it early enough, it shouldn't affect your vision at all. Who's at the highest risk? There is a higher risk in the African American community and there are certain shapes and prescriptions in the eye that actually lend themselves to being anatomically more susceptible to glaucoma. The thing to remember is generally you're not going to know if you have it or if you're susceptible unless there's a family member who's had it. So you need to make sure you're going in and getting your pressure tested and having your optometrist look at the back of your eye to make sure that the nerve head looks healthy. The treatments that we use are generally eye drops and are generally topical, some as few as one times a day. I've been in practice for over 20 years. There are patients I've had during that 20 years that have used the same drop, one drop at night before bed the entire 20 years and have had excellent results over time. The special testing and things that we do on that are usually every three to six months that monitors how the drops are working and determines whether we need to add further medication to lower the pressure or if we're doing a good job with it. Remember, the key thing is, is come in to see us at Eye Care Specialties and let us look at the back of your retina and examine the optic nerve to make sure you have a healthy optic nerve head and we can monitor that for you and maintain your perfect vision. Thanks.